whispers. Magic marker lines cut up drawn out spaces, and Los Americanos del Norte, armed with barbed wire and rhetoric, are the characters in the stories I read. I wish I knew the nimble hands that brushed out dusty braids, but I only know my thin, scented ponytail decorated with barrettes. Radical women cut their braids, armed with new borders. I could never grow my hair long. Rebozos were crossed as a sign of revolution. My abuela cradled me in hers, bouncing to her telenovelas. Wet backs glistening in the California sun, my grandfather was one of those. I was called a wet back in middle school. I didn't know what it meant. But I'm white. No, you're whitewashed. Washed by my mother's womb, washed by the children's nursery rhymes, sang over my first world crib. Or was I scrubbed by the snow all the times I fell on ice skates? When I was 15, I fell off my bike three days before my quinceanera. My chin grated against the concrete. My knee filled with gravel. I bled over my suntan skin, leaving rivers of blood that mapped lines against my legs. My white Nikes ruined fear following me home. My mother had a dream where my body was her and my father's home. They were holding hands, one white, one brown, bearing the other's weight but there was strain. They couldn't hold on forever. One of them would have to let go. My wound is opening. I cannot staunch the flow of blood. If where the first world and the third world meet is an open sore, then what does that make me? A sore, a cut, a bleeding, living, breathing mass that loves tamales and English trifle, a being that speaks Spanish haltingly with caution and embarrassment, who will never be Mexican and never be white.